What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another transfer outfit video. So before we do start, I'm just going to let you guys know that you guys will be losing your outfits. So make sure you guys are wearing the outfit you guys want to keep before you guys start this glitch. So I'm wearing this outfit that I want to keep before I do lose all my outfits. So once you guys are wearing the outfit that you guys want to keep, now we're just going to go ahead and go ahead and swap characters. So just go ahead and hit pause, scroll to online, and then just go ahead and scroll down and hit swap character. Okay guys, so once you guys get here, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll to your second slot character. So if your second slot character is a male, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and switch it to a female. And after you guys switch your second slot character to a female, then you guys can just go ahead and load into a session. So once you guys go ahead and load into a session with your female character, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and hit pause. Once you guys hit pause, if you guys don't see that you guys have any clothing stores on your map, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and find a new session. And once you guys do find a new session, you guys should see that you guys that you guys have clothing stores on the map. And so once you guys see that you guys do have clothing stores on the map, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and head to the clothing store. Okay, yeah, so once you guys go ahead and get to the clothing store, now I'm going to show you guys all the components for all the outfits that you guys see in the thumbnail. So yeah, I'll just get back to you once I do create the components. So we're going to go ahead and start with the first outfit right here. So this is going to be for the garbage vest outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. So for this outfit, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and head over here to your tops. Once you guys go ahead and get to tops, you guys are you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll down to tuck t-shirts, which is on slot 26. So after you guys click on tuck t-shirts, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll down to black classic, which is on slot 11. After you guys bought the black classic, you guys can now back out and scroll up until you guys find denim jackets. So denim jackets is right here on slot six. After you guys click on denim jackets, you guys are gonna be buying the distressed denim jacket, which is on slot nine. After you guys bought your tops, you guys can now head over here to your pants. Once you guys go ahead and get to pants, scroll down to sports pants, which is on slot four. And you guys are gonna be buying the spotted muscle pants, which is on slot one. After you guys bought your pants, now you guys can go ahead and head over here to your shoes. Once you guys go ahead and get to shoes, just go ahead and click on boots, which is on slot one and you guys are going to be buying the chocolate slack boots which is on slot 34. After you guys go ahead and buy your shoes, you guys can go ahead and back out and walk to your accessories. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to your accessories, you guys are now just going to want to go ahead and scroll down to gloves which is on slot 10 and you guys are going to be buying the light woodland armored which is on slot 32. After you guys go ahead and buy your accessories, you guys can now just go ahead and go to the front counter and save this outfit on slot 1. So after you guys did that, now we're going to go ahead and work on the second part of this outfit. So for this outfit, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and head over here to your tops. And whenever you guys go ahead and get the tops, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll down to party tank tops. Yeah, party tank tops, which is right here on slot 43. And you guys are going to be equipping the leopard loose tank. After you guys go ahead and equip the leopard, the leopard loose tank, which is on slot one, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and back out and scroll up to tactical jackets. So tactical jackets should be right here. So once you guys go ahead and find tactical jackets, which is right here on slot 12, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip the khaki tactical blouse, which is on slot 79. After you guys buy your tops, you guys can now just go ahead and head over here to your pants. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to pants, just go ahead and scroll down to sports pants, which is on slot four, and go ahead and equip the spotted muscle pants, which is on slot one. After you guys go ahead and equip the, the spotted muscle pants, head over here to your shoes, so go ahead and click on boots, which is on slot one, and you guys are gonna wanna go ahead and equip the chocolate slack boots, which is on slot 34. After you guys do that, now you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and head over here to your accessories, Whenever you guys go ahead and get to your accessories, just go ahead and scroll down to gloves, which is on slot 10, and you guys are going to be equipping the light woodland armored, which is on slot 32. So it's basically the same accessories, you guys basically just had to change your tops. But yeah, so after you guys have all those, then you guys can just go ahead and save this outfit on slot 2. So after you guys have this outfit saved on slot 2, make sure you guys have an empty slot on slot 3. So this is what your outfit will look like. So, you, so for the first outfit, you guys will have two parts. So after you guys have the outfit for slot one or the first part on slot one, have the second part on slot two, have an empty slot. And now we're just going to go ahead and work on the second outfit. Okay guys, so for now for the second outfit, I'm going to be showing you guys the white outfit on how to make it. So for this outfit, you guys are just going to want to head over here to your tops. Once you guys go and get to tops, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll down to designer t-shirts, which is right here on slot 28. So go ahead and click on designer t-shirts. 
and you guys are going to be putting on the gold shiny top which is on slot 67. After you guys bought your top you guys can go over here and head to your pants. Once you guys go ahead and get to pants just scroll down to sports pants which is on slot 4 and you guys are going to want to go ahead and equip the spotted muscle pants which is on slot 1. After you guys bought your pants you guys can now head over here to your shoes. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to shoes scroll down to uh, high heel boots which is on slot 2. And you guys are just going to want to go and equip the Deluxe Midnight Combat, which is on slot 64. Now, after you guys buy your shoes, go ahead and walk over here to your accessories. Whenever you guys go and get to accessories, just go ahead and scroll down to gloves, which is on slot 10. And you guys are going to be equipping the Light Woodland Armored, which is on slot 32. Now, after you guys go ahead and do that, you guys are now just going to want to head over here to your outfits, which are head over here to the front counter. And just go ahead and save this outfit on slot 4. After you guys go ahead and save this outfit on slot 4, that's basically it for the second outfit. Now we're just going to go ahead and work on the third outfit. Okay guys, so now we're going to go ahead and work on the third outfit. So this is going to be for the galaxy outfit. So for this outfit, you guys are just going to want to head over here to your tops. Once you guys go ahead and get to tops, you guys are now just going to want to go ahead and look for leather bomber jackets, which is right here on slot 14. After you guys go ahead and click on leather bomber jackets, you guys are going to want to go ahead and buy the multicolor SN leather closed which is on slot 7. After you guys bought after you guys bought your leather jacket, you guys can now head over here to your pants. Once you guys go ahead and get to pants, go ahead and click on jeans which is on slot 1 and you guys are going to be equipping the black cropped or buying the black cropped which is on slot 38. After you guys go ahead and buy that, now now you guys can go ahead and head over here to your shoes. Once you guys go ahead and get to shoes, scroll down to high heel boots which is on slot 2. And you guys are going to be equipping the Deluxe Midnight Combat, which is on slot 24. After you guys go ahead and buy that, now you guys can just go ahead and head over here to your accessories. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to your accessories, just go ahead and scroll down to Gloves, which is on slot 10. And then you guys are going to be buying the Red and Gray Armored, which is on slot 5. After you guys did that, now you guys are just going to want to head over here to your accessories. Once you guys go ahead and get to... I meant your glasses, my bad. Once you guys go ahead and get to your glasses... Scroll down to casual glasses and you guys are going to be buying the copper marbles which is on slot 22. After you guys go ahead and put on the copper marbles you guys can now head over here to your hats. Once you guys go ahead and get to hats scroll down to canvas hats which is on slot 3. And you guys are going to be buying the gray plaid canvas hat which is on slot 78. So the glasses and the checkerboard or the, the canvas hat is for the checkerboard parts. So if you guys don't want the checkerboard glasses or, or the checkerboard bucket hat, you guys will not want to equip those. But after you guys have your components, now you guys can just go ahead and save this outfit right here on slot six. After you guys go ahead and save your outfit on slot six, now we're just gonna go ahead and work on the second part of the outfit. So for the second part, you guys are now just gonna wanna head over here to your tops. Once you guys go ahead and get to the tops, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll down to work jackets, which is right here on slot 11, and you guys are going to be equipping the peach camo clothes field, which is on slot 9. After you guys go ahead and buy that, you guys can now back out and scroll down to tucked t-shirts. So tucked t-shirts is right here on slot 26, and you guys are going to want to go ahead and equip the blue digital t-shirt, which is on slot 75. Now that's basically it, so after you guys have that, all you guys needed to change was the tops. After you guys change the tops, you guys can go ahead and save this outfit right under it, which is going to be on slot 7. So after you guys save this outfit on slot 7, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and now we're going to be working on the fourth outfit. Okay guys, so now for the fourth outfit, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the components. So this is going to be the gray outfit. So now you guys are just going to want to head over here to your tops. Once you guys go ahead and get to tops, you guys are now just going to want to go ahead and scroll down to bikinis, which is right here on slot 47. After you guys go ahead and click on bikinis, you guys are going to be buying the first one, which is the black floral bikini. After you guys go ahead and buy that, you guys are now just going to want to go ahead and scroll all the way back up to the top until you guys find leather jackets, which is on slot 5. And you guys are going to be buying the blue JC jacket, which is on slot 38. After you guys go ahead and have your tops, you guys can now head over here to your pants. Once you guys go ahead and get to pants, go ahead and scroll down to sports pants, which is on slot 4, and you guys are going to be putting on the spotted muscle pants, which is on slot 1. After you guys did that, you guys can now head over here to your shoes. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to shoes, scroll down to high heels, which is right here on slot 13, and you guys are going to be equipping the beige patent heels, which is on slot 43. 
After you guys do that, now you guys can just go ahead and head over here to your accessories. And whenever you guys go ahead and get to your accessories, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll down to gloves, which is on slot 10. And you guys are going to be equipping the light woodland armored, which is on slot 32. After you guys go ahead and after you guys equipped your accessories, you guys can now just go ahead and save this outfit right here on slot 9. So after you guys go ahead and saved your outfit on slot 9, now we're going to be working on the second part of this outfit. So for the second part of this outfit, you guys can now head back over here to your tops. Once you guys go ahead and get to tops, scroll down to, to sports tops. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to sports tops, which is right here on slot 46, go ahead and click on it. And you guys are going to be putting on the gray racer back, which is on slot 50. After you guys do that, you guys are going to be having the same, same components. But this time you guys are going to, just going to want to go ahead and put on the checkerboard glasses or... I guess the components for the checkerboard glasses and hat. But yeah, so go ahead and head over here to your glasses. Scroll down to casual glasses and you guys are going to be putting on the copper marbles, which is on slot 22. After you guys do that, you guys can go ahead and head over here to your hats. Once you guys go ahead and get to hats, scroll down to scroll down to canvas hats, which is right here on slot 3. And you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip the gray plaid canvas hat, which is on slot 78. After you guys do that, now you guys can just go ahead and save this outfit right under the outfit we just saved. So go ahead and save this outfit on slot 10. So after you guys go ahead and save this outfit on slot 10, now we're going to be working on the third part of this outfit. So for the third part of this outfit, you guys are now just going to want to head over here to your tops. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to tops, go ahead and scroll down to work jackets, which is right here on slot 11. And you guys are going to be buying the peach camo clothes field, which is on slot 9. After you guys bought that, you guys can now back out, scroll down to tuck, or not tuck t-shirts, gun running t-shirts, which is right here on slot 23, and you guys are going to be equipping the blue digital t-shirt, which is on slot 60, which is on gun running t-shirts. So after you guys bought that, that's basically it for this outfit, so now you guys can just go ahead and head back over here to the front counter, and save this outfit right under the outfit we just saved, so save this outfit on slot 11. After you guys did that, now we're just going to go ahead, and after you guys saved the outfit on slot 11, we're just going to go ahead and work on the fifth and final outfit. Okay guys, so for the fifth and final outfit, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can make yellow joggers. So for this outfit, you guys are just going to want to head over here to your tops. Once you guys go ahead and get the tops, go ahead and scroll down to work jackets, which is right here on slot 11. And you guys are going to be putting on the peach camo clothes field, which is on slot 9. After you guys go ahead and do that, you guys can now back out and scroll down until you guys find gun running t-shirts, which is on slot 23, and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and buy the blue digital t-shirt, which is on slot 60. After you guys have your tops, you guys can now head over here to your pants. Once you guys go ahead and get the pants, scroll down to sports pants, which is on slot 4, and you guys are going to be equipping the spotted muscle pants, which is on slot 1. After you guys have your pants, you guys can now go ahead and head over here to your Head over here to your shoes, go ahead and scroll down to high heel boots, which is on slot 2, and go ahead and equip the Deluxe Midnight Combat, which is on slot 24. After you guys have your shoes, now you guys can go ahead and head over here to your accessories. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, which is on slot 10, and you guys are going to be equipping the Light Woodland Armored, which is on slot 32. Now, after you guys have your accessories, you guys can now just go ahead and save this outfit right here on slot on slot 13 so after you guys go ahead and save this outfit on slot 13 now you guys are just going to want to go ahead back out go ahead and see where it says outfit saved which is on slot one you guys are going to be equipping the first outfit you guys saved after you guys equip the first outfit you guys saved you guys are now just going to want to go ahead and take the easy way out after you guys took the easy way out and you guys loaded back in then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and hit pause scroll to online and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and start a creator whenever you guys go ahead and get into creator scroll down to create a race and then scroll down and start up or create a land race after you guys go ahead and start up a land race and whenever you guys go ahead and load in on your race details after you guys go ahead and click on rails after you guys click on race details go ahead and click on title and you guys can title you guys can title it however you guys want after you guys Go ahead and after you guys name the title, scroll down to description and you guys can name the description however you guys want. After you guys go ahead and do that, you guys can now just go ahead and scroll down to photo, take a picture of whatever you guys want. 
and this is where you guys will want to pay attention is make sure you guys set your maximum players to three after you guys set your maximum players to three scroll down to route type and set it to point to point if you guys this is optional but if you guys want your race to go a little bit faster you guys can go ahead and set your default class to super and now you guys can just go ahead and hit pause and and go ahead and warp to the airport after you guys go ahead and warp to the airport then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll down to placement go ahead and place a trigger wherever you guys want at the airport after you guys place the trigger scroll down to lobby camera and you guys can capture whatever you guys want after you guys took a picture now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and set your checkpoints so whenever I place my checkpoints, I always make sure my race is over one mile because I know that works 100% of the time. So I'll get back to you whenever I do finish placing my checkpoints. So I finished placing my checkpoints. So I always make sure my race is at least 1.05 miles. After you guys make sure your race is long enough, then you guys can just go ahead and back out and just go ahead and hit test race. So I'll just get back to you whenever I'm about to finish testing the race. Okay guys, so after you guys go ahead and finish the race, it's going to bring up this notification. You guys are just going to want to go ahead and hit OK. After you guys hit OK, you guys are just going to spawn in. After you guys spawn in, just hit pause, scroll to online, and just go ahead and hit choose character. So once you guys go ahead and load into here, you guys are going, you guys are going to see your male character and your female character. Go ahead and scroll to your female character, and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and delete your female character. So after you guys go ahead and confirm to delete your female character, a lot of people forget about this. I'm at character. I don't know why I say character. I'm at character. But after you guys go ahead and delete your female character, you, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and return to story mode. So a lot of people forget about this, but make sure for Xbox, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and hit B, but for PlayStation, just go ahead and hit circle. So whenever you guys load back here, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and hit B or circle. And so I'll just get back to you whenever I do load back into story mode. Whenever you guys go ahead and load back into story mode, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and hit pause, scroll to online, and then go ahead and scroll down to play GTA Online, and then go ahead and go to an invite only session. Okay guys, so whenever you guys load back in with your male character, make sure you're, so you guys should be wearing the outfit that you guys wanted to save, so make sure you guys go ahead and go to just your apartment, or you guys can go to the clothing store and save this outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. You guys can just go ahead and save this outfit on slot 20. So after you guys save the outfit that you guys wanted to save on slot 20, then we're going to be working on the first outfit. So for the first outfit, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go to your clothing and you guys are going to be looking for Gorka suits, which is on slot 47. So go ahead and click on Gorka suits and you guys are going to be looking for the orange Gorka suit. The orange Gorka suit is right here on slot 17. So go ahead and equip it or buy it. And after you guys go ahead and do that, now you guys are just going to want to head over here to your accessories. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to your accessories, scroll down to gloves and go ahead and scroll down to slot 72, which is the black tactical gloves. So you guys can actually go ahead and equip any gloves that you guys want. I just think it looks better with the outfit. But after you guys go ahead and do that, if you guys have a friend in here, since you guys are in an invite only session, then you guys can just go ahead and start up a Kirked Cop. But if you guys don't have a friend on and you guys need some random to help you out kind of, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and find a new session until you guys are in a public session, then start up a Kirked Cop. But yeah, so if you guys want to go ahead and join a Kirk Cap, just hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, scroll down to verses, and just go ahead and start up a Kirk Cop. Once you guys go ahead and load into a Kirk Cop, make sure your clothing is set to player owned, and then you guys can just go ahead and launch the job. Once you guys go ahead and load in, scroll down to your owned outfits and just go ahead and scroll two times to the right. After you guys scroll two times to the right, this is exactly what your outfit will look like. And now you guys can just go ahead and hit ready to play. Once you guys go ahead and load in, then you guys can just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your accessories, and on gear, just scroll one time to the left to put on your LCD earpiece. After you guys go ahead and put on the LCD earpiece, then you guys can just go ahead and pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. Whenever you guys go ahead and load in, then you guys are just going to want to head over here to the clothing store and go to the front counter. After you guys are here at the front counter, just go and hit your edit saved outfits and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and save this outfit on slot 19. After you guys save your outfit on slot 19, go ahead and scroll up to slot 1 and slot 2 and you guys are going to be deleting those two. Now after you guys did that, now we're going to go ahead and work on the second outfit. 
So for the second outfit, you guys are just going to want to be on clothing and then go ahead and scroll down to Gorka Suits, which is on slot 47. And you guys are going to be buying the Ash Gorka Suit, which is on slot 3. After you guys go ahead and equip that, then you guys can just go ahead and head over here to your accessories. And whenever you, whenever you guys go ahead and get to your accessories, scroll down to gloves and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip the white surgical gloves. So the white surgical gloves should be right here on slot 51. So go ahead and equip those. After you guys go ahead and equip those, now you guys can just go ahead and start up a Corrupt Cop. Once you guys go ahead and join a Corrupt Cop, make sure your clothing is set to player owned. Then just go ahead and confirm your settings and then you guys can just go ahead and launch the job. Once you guys load in, just go ahead and scroll down to your owned outfits and just scroll one time to the right. This is what your outfit should look like. Now you guys can just go ahead and hit ready to play. Whenever you guys go ahead and get into a Kirked Cop, then you guys can just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your accessories, and on your gear, just scroll one time to the left to put on the LCD earpiece. And now you guys can just go ahead and pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. Whenever you guys go ahead and load back in, for this, I'm gonna be showing you guys one component that you guys can go ahead and put on this outfit. So just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to inventory, scroll down to body armor, and where it says show armor, just go ahead and equip where you guys can go ahead and put on the super light armor, which is this gray one right here. If you guys don't want to put it on where you guys can just have no armor, then that's fine. But yeah, so after you guys go and put on the super light armor, then you guys can just go ahead and save this outfit on slot 18. Okay, so whenever you guys go ahead and load back in, so I'm going to be showing you guys one component that you guys can put on this outfit. So go ahead and pull up your interaction menu. Scroll down to inventory, scroll down to body armor, and you guys can just go ahead and equip the super light armor, which is this gray one right here. So I'll be showing you guys other components for, or I'll be showing you guys all the other components for the outfits later. But yeah, so you, for this outfit, just go ahead and go over here and save this outfit on slot 18. After you guys go ahead and save this outfit on slot 18, then you guys can just go ahead and back up and then delete the outfit on slot four. After you guys do that, now we're just gonna go ahead and work on the third outfit. So for the third outfit, which is gonna be the galaxy outfit, you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead and look for biker suits. So biker suits is right here on slot 37. So go ahead and click on biker suits and you guys are gonna be putting on the black biker suit, which is this one right here. After you guys go ahead and equip that, now you guys can just go ahead and start up another crooked cop. Yeah, so whenever you guys go ahead and load into a crooked cop, make sure your clothing is set to player owned, and then you guys can just go ahead and launch the job. Whenever you guys go ahead and load into a crooked cop, scroll down to your owned outfits, and then you guys can just go ahead and just scroll two times to the right. Once you guys go ahead and scroll two times to the right, this is what your outfit will look like. Now you guys can just go ahead and hit ready to play. Whenever you guys go ahead and load into the Crooked Cop, just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to Style, scroll down to Accessories, and on Gear, just scroll one time to the left to put on the LCD earpiece, and then you guys can just go ahead and pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. Whenever you guys go ahead and load back in, then you guys can go ahead and head over here to your Outfits, and then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and hit Edit Saved Outfits and save this outfit on slot 17. After you guys save this outfit on slot 17, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll back up to the top and go ahead and go to slot 6 and slot 7 and delete both of those outfits. After you guys do that, now we're going to be working on the gray outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. So for this outfit, you guys are just going to want to head over here to your pants. So whenever you guys go to get the pants, scroll down to utility pants, which is right here. Yeah, okay, so I was at pants. Scroll down to utility pants, which is on slot 10. And you guys are going to go ahead and equip the black heist pants, which is on slot 38. After you guys go ahead and equip those, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and start up another crooked cop. Whenever you guys load in, just go ahead and scroll down to your owned outfits and just scroll one time to the right. So this is what your outfit should look like. Now you guys can just go ahead and hit ready to play. Whenever you guys load in, this is what your outfit should look like right now. So go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and on your gear, just scroll one time to the left again to put on the LCD earpiece. Now you guys can just go ahead and pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. Whenever you guys go ahead and load back in, you guys are just going to want to head over here to your accessories. So once you guys go ahead and get to your accessories, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll down to gloves. Whenever you guys get to gloves, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll up to slot 50, I believe, and it should be the motocross gloves. So yeah, right here, the race suit gloves, my bad. So go ahead and equip the race suit gloves, 
So once you guys go ahead and click the race suit gloves, it'll put on the race suit gloves and make your arms invisible. After you guys go ahead and put on the race suit gloves, hit your edit saved outfits. And on the first part, which is on slot 9, just go ahead and delete that part. After you guys go ahead and delete the outfit on slot 9, you guys can just go ahead and back out. And now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and start up a crooked cop. So whenever you guys go ahead and load into a crooked cop, like, like a normal, make sure your clothing is set to player owned. Go ahead and confirm your settings and then just go ahead and launch the job. Whenever you guys go ahead and load in, scroll down to your owned outfits and just go ahead and scroll two times to the right. After you guys scroll two times to the right, this is what your outfit should look like. Now you guys can just go ahead and hit ready to play. Once you guys are in here, just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your accessories, and on gear, just scroll one time to the left to put on the LCD earpiece. If you guys have, for the other outfits, put on like the rebreather or night vision goggles, make sure you guys are putting on the LCD earpiece for this outfit. If you guys put on any other gear, then your checkerboard stuff will disappear. But yeah, so after you guys put on the LCD earpiece, now you guys can just go ahead and pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. Whenever you guys go ahead and load into a session and you guys get to a clothing store, I'm going to be showing you guys one component you guys can use for this outfit real quick. So go ahead and pull up your interaction menu. Scroll down to inventory, scroll down to body armor, and go ahead where it says show armor. Scroll one time to the right to put on the super light armor. After you guys did that, now you guys can just go ahead and save this outfit on slot 16. After you guys go ahead and save this outfit on slot 16, then you guys can just go ahead and scroll up to slot 10 and 11. And you guys are just going to want to go ahead and delete those components to the outfit. After you guys could delete those outfits on slot 10 and 11, now we're going to be working on the yellow joggers outfit. So go over here and head to the tops. Whenever you guys go and get to tops, scroll down to t-shirts. And whenever you guys go and get to t-shirts, which is right here on slot 22, go ahead and click on no top. So I guess my character's tattoos did disappear, but I'll re-equip those later, it doesn't matter. After you guys put on no top, then you guys can just go ahead and head over here to your, head over here to your pants. Once you guys go and get here to pants, go ahead and scroll down to cargo pants, which is on slot four. Scroll down to slot 10 and you guys are going to be putting on the sand cargo. After you guys go ahead and put on the sand cargo pants, head over here to your head over here to your shoes. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to shoes, click on boots, which is on slot 1, and you guys are going to be scrolling to slot 39, and you guys are going to be putting on those boots. So right here on slot 39, you guys are going to be putting on the black lace-up boots, which is on slot 39. After you guys did that, make sure your character has no head accessories, so if he has a earpiece on, make sure he doesn't have that on. After you guys have no head accessories, then you guys can just go ahead and start up a crooked cop. Whenever you guys go ahead and get into a crooked cop, make sure your clothing set to player owned, confirm your settings, and then you guys can just go ahead and launch the job. Whenever you guys load in, scroll down to your owned outfits and just scroll one time to the right. After you guys scroll one time to the right, this is what your outfit will look like. Don't don't worry, you guys can add gloves, and then if your tattoos did come off, you guys can re-add them later. But don't worry, you guys can add your gloves back, just like I said. Okay guys, so whenever you guys load in, go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and on your gear, just scroll one time to the left to put on the LCD earpiece. And now you guys can just go ahead and pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. So whenever you guys go ahead and load back in with this outfit, for this outfit, this is going to be a real simple outfit, so I'm just going to be showing you guys the components. For this, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your parachute, and you guys can just go ahead and equip your parachute, and you guys are going to be putting on the black combat shoot bag. After you guys go ahead and put that on, you guys can just go over here, head to your hats. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to your hats, scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19, and you guys are going to be putting on the black bulletproof. After you guys go ahead and put on the black bulletproof, now you guys can go over here and walk to your accessories. Once you guys are going to get to your accessories, go ahead and scroll down to gloves, and you guys are going to be putting on the white cotton gloves. So the white cotton gloves is right here on slot 53, so go ahead and equip it. After you guys do that, that's basically it for this outfit, so you guys can now just go ahead and save this outfit on slot 15. So after you guys go ahead and save this outfit on slot 15, then you guys can just go ahead and delete the other components for this outfit on slot 13. So after you guys save the outfit and you guys delete the components on slot 13, these are basically what your outfit 
your outfits should look like. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the components for like this outfit and then this outfit right here. But yeah, so I'm gonna also be showing you guys a little bit with this one. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and maybe start with this outfit right here. So for this outfit, you guys are just gonna wanna go ahead first, go over here to your glasses, scroll down to scroll down to sports glasses, and you guys are gonna be buying the orange urban ski, which is on slot three. So after you guys go ahead and do that, you guys can now back out and head over here to your hats. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to your hats, scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19, and you guys can just go ahead and put on the black of bulletproof. So now for this outfit, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and head to the mask store. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to the mask store. Once you guys go ahead and get to the mask store, you guys are just going to want to head over here to your mask. Once you guys get here, scroll down to crime, which is right here on slot 9. And you guys are just going to want to go ahead and scroll down to slot 16, which is this one right here, the black bigness t-shirt, which is on slot 16. After you guys go ahead and equip it, after you guys go ahead and equip the mask, then you guys will see that your bulletproof helmet and your goggles did disappear. But then this is whenever you guys are just going to want to go and do the telescope glitch. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to a telescope. Once you guys go ahead and get to a telescope, just go ahead and do the telescope glitch. So just run, hit right on the D-pad, your character's mask will come off. So go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you guys go ahead and find the black bulletproof helmet. After you guys go ahead and find the black bulletproof, just go ahead and walk away. After you guys go ahead and walk away, you guys will see that your mask and helmet do combine. Go ahead and do the telescope glitch again. Make sure your character runs, his mask and helmet do come off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your accessories, and scroll through your glasses until you guys go ahead and find the orange goggles. Once you guys have the orange urban ski selected, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and put away your interaction menu and just go ahead and walk away. Once you guys walk away, you guys will see that your mask, your urban ski glasses, and your bulletproof helmet did combine. And now for the final touch, you guys can just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your parachute, and just go ahead and equip the black combat shoot bag. Actually, if you actually, if you guys want to actually make this outfit look a little bit better, you guys can just go ahead and put on the flight tube outfit on this, or go ahead and put the flight tube on this outfit. So I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Okay guys, so you guys are just going to want to go ahead and head to this clothing store right here that is directly across from the strip club. So go to this clothing store right here. So once you guys are here, you guys are first going to want to go ahead and save this outfit real quick. Whichever slot you saved it on before, so I saved it on slot 19. So after you guys saved your outfit, then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and back out. And you guys are going to be looking for flight suits. So flight suits is right here on slot 9. You guys are going to be equipping the black flight suit, which is on slot 2. After you guys do that, now you guys are just going to want to go ahead and run to the strip club. Once you guys are here at the strip club, just go ahead and walk inside. Whenever you guys get here, you guys can just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and on your outfits, you guys are going to be putting on the orange outfit that you guys saved earlier on slot 19 or whichever slot you guys saved it from earlier. Go ahead and equip it. After you guys equip it, just go ahead and back out. Once you guys back out, you guys will see that this outfit comes with the flight tube now. So this is a pretty sick outfit. Now you guys can just go ahead and save this outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. And so now we're just going to go ahead and work on the second outfit. Okay guys, so now we're going to be working on the second outfit. So for this outfit, I already told you guys to put on the super light armor. So after you guys did that, you guys saved your outfit. And now I'm going to be showing you guys the other components for this outfit. So first, you guys are just going to want to go over here to your glasses. Once you guys get here to glasses, scroll down to sports glasses. And you guys are going to be buying or equipping the gray, the gray scale urban ski, which is on slot 5. After you guys did that, now for this outfit, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and head to the mask store. Once you guys are here at the mask store, you guys can go ahead and walk over here to your hats, which is on the left side, and then you guys can go ahead and scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19, and you guys can go ahead and buy the charcoal bulletproof. After you guys do that, now you guys can just go over here and walk to the mask, which is on the right side, scroll down to crime, which is on slot 9, and you guys are going to be looking for the white t-shirt mask. So it should be up here somewhere. So it's gonna be the white t-shirt mask, which is on slot 55. So now after you guys go ahead and equip that, now we're just gonna go ahead and do the telescope glitch. Once you guys are here at the telescope, just go ahead and do the telescope glitch. So just run, hit right on the D-pad, your character's mask will come off. So go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, 
and scroll through your helmets until you guys go ahead and find the charcoal bulletproof. After you guys go ahead and find the charcoal bulletproof, you guys can now just go ahead and walk away. And then you guys will see that your mask and helmet did combine. You guys are now just going to want to go ahead and do the telescope glitch again. So just run, hit right on the D-pad, go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and just scroll through your glasses until you guys find the gray urban ski. Once you guys go ahead and find the grayscale urban ski, then you guys can go ahead and put away your interaction menu and then just walk away. Once you guys walk away, you guys will see that your mask, your, your gray scale urban ski, and your helmet did combine. And now you guys can just go ahead and save this outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. And now we're just going to go ahead and work on the third outfit. Okay guys, so we're, we're not going to be worrying about the galaxy outfit because it's fine how it is. But for this outfit, I told you guys to put on the super light the super light armor. So I meant to say actually put on the standard armor, which is the gray or which is the black one right here. So after you guys do that, then you guys can just go over here and head over here to your front counter inside the clothing store. And then you guys are just going to want to go ahead and save this outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. After you guys did that, now we're just going to go ahead and head to the mask store for this outfit. So once you guys are at the mask store, just walk over here to your mask. Go ahead and scroll down to crime, which is right here on slot 9. And you guys are going to be looking for the black t-shirt mask, which is on slot 16. So the black bigness t-shirt, you guys are just going to want to go and equip that. You guys will see that your checkerboard stuff does does disappear, but don't worry. That's why you guys save the outfit after you guys put on the black standard armor. But yeah, so after you guys did that, now you guys are just going to want to go and do the telescope glitch. Once you guys go ahead and get to a telescope, just go and do the telescope glitch. So just run, hit right on the D-pad, and you guys will see that your character's mask did come off. So go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and equip the outfit you guys saved the outfit on from earlier. So go ahead and equip that outfit. After you guys equip the outfit and you guys walk away, you guys will see that the mask did combine with this outfit. Now, to make this outfit look even better, now we're just going to go ahead and do the flight tube glitch with this outfit too. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to the clothing store across from the strip club. After you guys are here at the clothing store across from the strip club, just go ahead and save this outfit on whatever slot that you guys want. So after you guys go ahead and save this outfit on whatever slot that you guys want, now we're just going to go ahead and back out and scroll down to flight suits, which is right here on slot 9. After you guys go ahead and click on flight suits, you guys are going to be equipping the black flight suit, which is on slot 2. After you guys do that, now we're just going to go ahead and head to the strip club. Whenever you guys go ahead and get to the strip club, then you guys can just go ahead and walk inside. And whenever you guys walk inside, you guys will see that the flight tube did disappear. So go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, and just go ahead and equip the outfit you guys saved from earlier. After you guys go ahead and equip it, after you guys go ahead and equip it, then you guys can just go ahead and walk out, and you guys will see that the flight tube did combine with the outfit. So now you guys can just go ahead and go back to the clothing store and save this outfit. After you guys saved this outfit, that's basically it. I showed you guys how to make every other outfit except the galaxy because it's fine how it is. But yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy these these five outfits. These are pretty sick outfits in my opinion. I hope you guys do like these. But yeah, so that's basically it. I hope you guys did enjoy these outfits. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.